trying to deal with emotions and you don't want feelings All I wanted was a picture on my wall Alright Alright Here we are boys and girls Another beautiful day in paradise So I hope everyone's doing good today because I'm having a great morning so far. Uh, got up kind of early just to cruise around. Uh, I'm gonna go to Wawa and get some coffee. Been drinking coffee at home for a while because um, some of our viewers so graciously sent us so much different coffee, but we ran out of creamer and I could either just go out and get creamer or just go out and get coffee uh, for me and Sammy and creamer. So, that's what I'm going to do. Just, the Wawa is about, I would say, a mile from our house. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, if you just get on to Route 9 here. Route 9 runs, like, all the way up the state. I think through Delaware and maybe New York. And in the other states, but it disconnects. I'm not really sure, but Route 9 runs literally right down in front of our house if you just drive up like two blocks so it connects pretty much everything around where we live but you just hop out here for literally 0.5 of a mile if that and then you just cruise up it's like a, a super wawa so they make just a regular wawa which is just like a convenience store and then they have super wawas which is a huge store they have bathrooms um, and they have like gas tanks, diesel too actually. And they're everywhere around here. At first it started with just regular Wawa's and now there's multiple Super Wawa's in Summers Point where we live and everywhere else for that matter. But uh, yeah, literally just another beautiful day. It's 40 degrees out, a little bit chilly, but the sun is out, the birds are chirping and I feel really good to be alive. So, really good to be alive. I feel blessed every day. So, if you guys can wake up with that same attitude, it really helps you through the day, because whatever goes wrong, you, you're started off with a positive mood and a positive attitude, so when something goes wrong, it's harder to make your day negative. That's how I've seen it uh, so far. When I start off with a bad mood and a negative mood, easier to be shitty day all day. If you start positive, way harder to turn into a shitty day so uh, I'm gonna go back to the house and try and see if I can take one of these boat motors apart um, and who knows what we're gonna do today we might go exploring it seems like a good day for that so definitely an option we are planning on doing something special because we just broke 15,000 subscribers this morning and we're gonna go exploring at an abandoned ice skating ring around four, probably 3.30 or four, with Jimmy Bags. So, for now, we're gonna do a scrap claim to start the day off. Um, for my buddy in Longport, we're gonna go to his house. I don't know if he wants us to film there, but I'll just, at the very least, just film what he gives us. I think it's just a lawnmower and a smokestack or a smoker or something like that. It might be stainless steel the lawnmower who knows in Longport it might just be brand new probably not knowing this guy but um, yeah that's we're gonna go scoop that up and then come back to the house and I don't know figure out some stuff to do before later on but yeah we're pumped on 15,000 subscribers super epic and the dream continues All right, so our friend Zach gave us this smoker. He said it's fine. I don't know if I would even try and sell that. And this lawnmower, it's a Craftsman. Good brand, it looks really beat to, to death. But he said that some of these props, reconditioned, might be worth some money, so that I should give a ride over to um, Campbell's Marina or something in Summers Point and see if they would buy any of them or see if they could tell us if they had any value before we scrapped them. So maybe we'll do that now. 
in a minute. But I got this piece for gravy. I got something for the boy. Uh-uh. Yeah. You did not, dude. It's an antique, too, for the van. No way. Dude, uh, Made in Taiwan, bro. dude. That's sick. Carter, did you bring that camera thing for me? Dude, this is... What's your claim? This is exactly what I needed for all my pipers. Yeah? I got mad pipers I gotta clip together, like contracts and shit. Yeah, we know. <laughs> like Shark Tank. All right, boys, we're going to the source. See if we got any Sector 9 stickers for the boy Randy Stone. Oh, for Randy? The boy, yeah. Oh, I'll pull into the secret stats for Randy. I didn't realize it was for Randy. You should have known. I know now. I'll just give him a box, right? Yeah, whatever he's claiming. He just wants whatever. He wants the dream, so yeah. If you're providing the dream, then yeah. <laughs> easy. Too easy to provide the dream. Alright, so my brother had a Phantom 2 when it first came out and he hasn't used it in probably three, four years, realistically. Not as quality as the other one, but he said I could have this and see if I can get it to work. You have to calibrate it with a code though, it's different, the new one's way better, but you gotta put a GoPro on this too, which is fine. And then he gave me this Pelican case that has one hook, I can probably buy the other one online though with all this GoPro gear in it. Don't worry, all these stickers are for the boy. Randy Stone. And he said either sell or just use any of this stuff or throw it out. Like this is done, probably. It's like a cushion, it's a flotation device in the back. But, but yeah, mounts and all sorts of shit, so. He gave this cord to us too, which is an iPhone cord. So now we have two, even though he doesn't know we stole one from him already. <laughs> but he has like the cord. Of course, so. yeah. This is good stuff though, for sure. No head mount, which is what we really need. Big brother hooking you up? Yeah. That's sweet. How was I supposed to read that? Mm -hmm. You gotta stay on the leash though, okay? Come on, MJ, come on. All right, so we're getting down to the wire here on the, the build. So I might throw up the GoPro and put a little time lapse on this because I'm gonna put this first wall on here. So this is the dream, boys, fully. So I just put those trailer walls on there. That was the last thing you guys saw, but we wanted to do something special for the 15,000 subscriber mark. Um, and my boy messaged me and told me about this abandoned ice skating rink in Egg Harbor City, which is right across from that Acme that we went to. And so we recruited this legend in the back. Jimmy Bags, the boy, and if you guys don't know, now you know, he's got his own channel, he's been uploading pretty regularly on, so go check that out, I'll put it in the end of this video so you guys can see, um, he's been working on some dirt bikes and some legendary shit in my opinion, but we're heading out Whitehorse Pike right now, we're pretty much in like Absecon or Galway, and we're going to see what this place has to offer, there's supposed to be a little skate park next to it too and out this way there's a lot of abandoned stuff so if the place is like impossible to get into if there's anything suspicious about it or that guy's a scrap god I, i've seen that guy before if there's anything like that doesn't work out we'll just go find something else for you guys but uh 15 000 subscribers we're pumped and the dream continues boys all right Grab this camera and just film me for a second. Is it on? Oh yeah, it's ready. It's cool recording already. All right, so we just pulled up to the. This is the ice skating rink. Um, 
So, heavy crew, me, Sammy, and Jimmy Bags, the typical exploring crew, but we're out here in um, Egg Harbor City. So I guess this was part of it. This is all knocked down, it's all cleared off. Cinder box everywhere, trash everywhere. Some old school vinyls though for the dream. The new edition. All the boys. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to cruise in here, Motown. That lady would have bought that. And uh, check this place out, so. Uh, come along if you guys wanted to see this. The kid's name is Justin that sent me the um, link to this. Just five Justin five on Instagram. However, you say that. But here we go, boys. Oh shit, Prince Arlen, who made that? Our friend. So it had a fire. That's pretty apparent, right? Yeah. Uh, I think that actually just collapsed. This is burnt here, though. Oh, maybe they just burnt some of it. Whoever was chilling over here. It's gonna be a wild ride now. Nah, debatable. Don't slip, Donnie. Yeah, no. I, I got it. Well, I don't set up. There's the radio. You good? Watch out crushing around on that roof thing. How wet how wet is it in here? Oh, it's foul in here, boys. Yeah. They got a cage in here. Something going on where we can go in through here. Oh, this is a dead end through here. There wasn't a back entrance, huh? This is super fucking dirty down here. Like, look at that scene right there. Neck face. Nothing, right? This is, this is wild creepy though, dude. Look at this. The way that chair is sitting there to it. Okay. 
I think upstairs. Upstairs. Like, I think upstairs is a huge, like, or skating, like roller skating. I mean, the way the floor is built, that could definitely hold an ice skating rink. Look at this. It's like solid concrete. You know what I mean? This is crawling with asbestos in here, boys. We found the entrance. I don't think it's an ice skating ring, though, dude. Well, it looks like this. dormitories for like a fucking asylum. Oh, that's insane. Like you should go in there and like live in there. <laughs> the way you look. That's where I belong. Nah, it looks kind of sick. Huh? It looks pretty sick. Honestly. I mean, no more bobcat than the place we had to jump up in an AC when those squatsies were in there. You're coming, right? I'll push you up though. That's why I want you to get first before me at least. Yes. So this is the entrance way we came in. It's one of those old like metal sliding doors that looks like from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. A new one. One that's like Jessica could be a one where he comes out from the basement. Yeah. Does it not? Does it not look like it though? I don't know if it's. What was this really? It wasn't an ice cream. Look at Yeah, I don't think this is anything cool really. The spray paint's pretty cool actually. Crank hand stencils. like a common room. Maybe some kind of like general store or some church or something. Yeah, I think the coolest part of it. What? What did you say? This is 
is the belly of the beast. I don't think this is an ice skating rink, boys. But uh, if you wanted to see the upstairs, Justin, this is it. Not that crazy, but uh, definitely worth checking out if you live near here. So, for the boys. I think we came, we saw, we got what we needed, really. The coolest place in here is the bathroom. Yeah. Smiley face toilet. This is a sick bag right here. Oh, wow, that's a really cool bag. What does it say? Somebody ruined it for Christmas shit. What are you claiming? There was a German Shepherd in the middle of the road. Dude. Get the fuck out of here. I didn't see no dog. I All right, so we're there on really was that yeah. wood. Indian Cabin too. Road. Dude, Why does it keep doing that? The hounds of hell are out here on Indian Cabin Road right now. Indian Cabin Road is gnarly, dude. There has to be All somebody right, well, out here. If the Shepherd was not. here, then we would see him. I guess we keep going straight, right? Mm. Should we turn around and try and find the Shepherd? Yeah, I want to see this dog you're speaking of. This sir, it like ran across. A dog way. or a deer? It wasn't a it wasn't a deer, dude. It was a dog. It was a German Shepherd. In the middle of the fucking dirt road, in the middle of the woods. Yes. No houses. Hell no. Yeah, but I figured somebody was walking their dog, maybe. Dude, there's nobody around. Where's this hellhound you speak of? They're probably like in there. Dude, there's woods in there. There is a, there's a house like a half a mile down the road where he just lets their German Shepherd run around on this, the highway or on the fucking street. The highway. <laughs> What's the Jimmy Bags rundown? What's going on here? All right, so we're following this bobcat ass road it's with an ancient rapist that kill people and Satan churches and all kinds of nut shit. Sam saw a ghost dog earlier and nobody else saw. So that I was pretty see nuts. It. We're on Indian Cabin Road. There's all kinds of weird stories on Weird New Jersey about wild shit. So we're gonna hit it fucking hard and find all this weird shit that they're claiming. I don't even think this is a road, dude. Claiming there is. It's like by the time we get out from here, like we're legitimately just gonna be like it's gonna be pitch black out. Gonna have to pull an overnighter out here, boys. This is safety first, though, for sure. Should we put your mirrors in here? Uh, not yet. You can if you want. Put it this way. No, this isn't like stuck situation, is it? Job, How far is that road from here? Um, like, are we making progress towards it? Yeah. Just another six miles. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the next block. <laughs> no, for real, like a mile, two miles, right? Um, probably like a mile. Uh, so nothing. <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, this is like placed here, dude. Dude, Indian cabin birds not for the boys, dude. Like what? Opening up, <laughs> This is wild out here, dude. <laughs> dude, we're literally miles deep in the middle of the wilderness. Like this is the road that he's talking about. A road. Like this is hardly this is a road. People fan. get fucking killed. What the fuck, dude? Right, dude, Indian cabin road, dude. Dude, Indian Cabin Road is one wild ride.
Indian cabin roading, right. It's not normal back here. Someone spray painted on there recently. They put them here somewhere else. Oh, well, they dumped houses. Yeah, for real. That's Not like nuts. dumped houses, but like maybe they brought them here thinking they were going to use them, or like they got paid to get rid of them, so they just took them here because they thought they'd be useful. Like in like '94. No, for real. Oh, to like store them? Yeah. Dude, this was like a cellar type Well, this was the foundation of one. Oh, yeah. And then they maybe were going to put it on top of there. There's more back there. Oh, you didn't know the Jersey Devil was Please, I've been to where the Jersey Devil is. Really? Well, it's everywhere. Strong. I'm all throughout the pond bed. Yo, did I tell you guys about the weird shit that happened at my house? Nope. When I was, when I was sitting on my porch? Now what happened? We can have a... Because there's a fucking well in here. Dude, that would be a gnarly place to go in. That would be a gnarly place to go into for fun. Yeah, but fun. Did you ever see, like, Cold Creek Manor? No. They put, like, bodies down the devil's throat. They call it, and it looks like that. <laughs> it's like a crazy movie. There's another... Yo, yeah, there's another crivy in there. Oh, let's go. Hey. Do the one. <laughs> Imagine if you fell in that well by accident. The worst. I'll stay behind. I feel like um, by the time we come back, the truck's just gonna be gone. Right, well, the and all the shit in the back. No, I'm talking like towed out of there, like someone just sniping it. This is heavy out here, dude. Like, we're in the thick of it, dude, now. I mean, this isn't, this. Dude, they had to have put these here. But why? But why? Oh, this is so busy. I'm 
trying to find like a still. I'm not trying to get attacked by that rabbit animal. Yeah, dude. I know. <laughs> I'm not trying to get attacked by the rabbit animals, dude. I'm not trying to get hit by a fucking rabbit raccoon. Dude, I can't piss. There's another house over here. I guess fuck it, it's not that cool, right? Dude, it just shredded right through my pants. <laughs> Look at that seagull, dude. Yeah. Some beach town, I bet. Like a beach town that got flooded out. Yeah, they definitely do kind of with seagulls and the shutters. Houses, dude. Like, why? Oh, what? This is a transplanted like community into the middle of the woods for what? What? We gotta go deeper, dude. What is all this, dude? No. Look at the way this was built, like the window. Oh, this is wild, dude, out here. What were they trying to do here? This could be like a commune now, dude. Human testing? Yeah, like the hills have eyes type shit. Dude, there's like transplanted like houses upon houses. That's like the fifth or sixth one. Just in the middle of the woods, up on blocks. Like they're trying to build some kind of commune out here. But no one drank the Kool-Aid here that was. Should we roll? Because this is weird. Any parting words for the Hellhound throw? Dude, so heavy. Indian cabin road. We didn't see any of the crazy shit, but Sam saw a Hellhound. And then we saw some bobcat buildings that were weirdly placed out in the middle of the woods, and a lot of them. Look like the ritual, someone said. Yeah, I've never seen that, but I'm going to go watch that when I get home and check it out. <laughs> All right, the sure. seems gnarly. All right, boys. You got what you needed? Yeah, for sure. All, All right, right. guys. What's up, homie? Bye.